Edge's request to Vince McMahon for Crown Jewel match is revealed, concept art for Alexa Bliss's mask idea that was scraped has surfaced online, and WWE Champion Big E reveals which Hall of Famer contacted him after his title win. What's up everyone, I'm Jose G and there's a lot to talk about in today's Sports Keto Wrestling WWE News Roundup. Never miss brand new content by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Edge's request to Vince McMahon for Crown Jewel match has been revealed. WWE Hall of Famer Edge collided with Seth Rollins inside Hell in a Cell at Crown Jewel, officiated by SmackDown referee Jessica Carr. According to Carr, it was the rated R superstar's idea for her to oversee the bout. She made history that night by becoming the first woman to referee in Saudi Arabia and the first female to officiate a Hell in a Cell match in WWE. She is also recognized as the first full-time female referee in the company. During a recent interaction with Devon Dudley on his Table Talk podcast, Jessica Carr revealed that Edge asked Vince McMahon if she can come for the Hell in the Cell match in Saudi Arabia. The rated R superstar was very impressed with her during his SummerSlam match against Seth Rollins. Edge and Seth Rollins had a great match at Crown Jewel and Jessica Carr did her job perfectly as the referee. The rated R superstar came out victorious by pinning Rollins after hitting him with a vicious curb stop on a steel chair. In the aftermath, Edge took to social media to praise and congratulate Jessica Carr for doing an excellent job in Saudi Arabia. Edge and Seth Rollins' feud is seemingly over as the latter is now contesting Big E's WWE Championship. However, the duo's feud was undoubtedly one of the highlights of WWE this year. Raw Star says Roman Reigns isn't ready to be his friend after controversial comments. Raw superstar Riddle has opened up about his relationship with Universal Champion Roman Reigns and how he can't have a relationship with him at the moment. In an interview earlier this year, Riddle told Reigns to shut up and claimed that he could beat him up in a real fight. The Raw Tag Team Champion later confirmed that he was in hot waters for his comments on Reigns including telling the Tribal Chief that he wasn't moving the needle in ratings. Speaking on Cheap Heat with Peter Rosenberg, Riddle stated that he is currently not on good terms with Reigns and that the on-screen rivalry with the SmackDown star may not happen anytime soon. Riddle clarified that he feels that Reigns is not ready to have a friendship or relationship or step in the ring with him at the moment. Roman Reigns is not just seen as one of the best in WWE, but also is a respected locker room leader. As per a recent report, Riddle's comments about Reigns have not gone down well with either the latter or the WWE locker room. Riddle has had real life run-ins backstage with WWE Hall of Famer Goldberg and Brock Lesnar, while his current tag team partner Randy Orton was also put off by his abrasive comments at first. Concept art for Alexa Bliss's mask idea that was scrapped. WWE had plans for Alexa Bliss to wear a mask makeup combo when she was allied with The Fiend last year. Famous tattoo artist Kyle Scarborough, well known for among wrestling fans, has worked with along the list of wrestlers including Bray Wyatt. Scarborough recently posted a couple of images on his official Twitter handle and sent wrestling fandom by storm. He recalled creating concept art for a mask makeup combo for Bliss when she and Bray got together on WWE TV. Fans who have watched Alexa Bliss on WWE TV over the past year remember that she didn't wear a mask or elaborate makeup during her run. It's safe to assume that WWE dropped the idea of a creepy mask altogether. WWE Champion Big E reveals which Hall of Famer contacted him after a title win. WWE Champion Big E spoke to Ebro in the morning recently and among other things, revealed that none other than two-time WWE Hall of Famer The Nature Boy Ric Flair contacted him following his WWE Championship victory, saying, quote, I don't know how he has my number. There are a bunch of people who reached out. I got a Ric Flair text. I'll always pop at getting a text from him. He's always been calling me. He's always been really cool. He was definitely one that was dope, end quote. Another topic that came up during the chat involved the internet meme that has been spreading for years featuring Big E himself scarfing down popcorn. It has become the go-to gift when online conversations have gotten intense and those reading just can't wait to see what happens next. Big E was also asked about a possible heel run in the future. 
the WWE Champion made sure everyone understood why that wouldn't happen anytime soon. Saying, quote, We were for a long time, the three of us, and I had so much fun as a heel, but it's hard because we're pretty well liked right now. End quote. Creative plans for Braun Breaker after NXT Halloween Havoc. According to the Twitter account WrestleVotes, the match between Braun Breaker and NXT champion Tommaso Ciampa was a stepping stone for the Steiner as WWE looks to cement him as the guy in NXT 2.0. Braun Breaker faced Tommaso Ciampa for the NXT Championship in the main event of Halloween Havoc. The main event ended with the Blackheart putting Breaker away after multiple knee strikes and fairy tale endings, leaving Breaker bleeding from the mouth. Russell Votes later took to Twitter to explain that this was the start of Breaker's time as the top star in NXT. The match helped establish Braun as a star as he went toe to toe with the NXT veteran Tommaso Ciampa. The long term plan for Rick Steiner's son still seems to be the same as the NXT 2.0 star is destined to be the brand's champion eventually. NXT 2.0 has been all about the youth movement ever since the brand's revamp earlier this year, with a lot of young talent getting a chance to showcase their skills. Ron Breaker has been the focal point of the former black and gold brand ever since his debut. Touted as wrestling's next big thing, Braun's family just happens to be one of the greatest tag teams in the history of pro wrestling. His father Rick and Uncle Scott, the Steiner brothers. Breaker played briefly in the NFL before ultimately deciding to partake in the family legacy. A freak athlete, he's big, loud, charismatic, and powerful. Braun Breaker is the epitome of an alpha male and is the future of NXT 2.0. Thanks for watching today's Sports Kita Wrestling WWE News Roundup. For exclusive content you never want to miss, you gotta subscribe to our YouTube channel and smash that notification bell so you never miss whenever we drop brand new content. Follow us on all social media and download the Sports Kita app for the most up-to-date stories in the world of wrestling.